Good evening and welcome to your Rad Wug Get Stoked video. We're just going to share a few things that we learned the other day with all of you. And um, in fact, I attended a <laughs> I attended an informational webinar um, during lunch on Thursday and found out a lot of really fun things about what will be happening in Italy. And that's mostly what I want to focus on. When we arrive there, we're going to be arriving in Verona, which means that we will have free a free shuttle waiting for us. They'll be picking us up and they'll take us to the accreditation center. And some of you remember this from before, that we'll be collecting our passports and giving us temporary accreditation badges. This was something that um, made Nathan particularly nervous last time. In fact, I believe he was so nervous that he had to go to a Turkish bath where he scalded his rear end. Um, <laughs> but don't get too nervous because what happens is that you're going to get a temporary accreditation and then um, after a bit you're going to get a permanent accreditation and that permanent accreditation may take as many as 12 hours after we get our temporary ones. So we, we just have to sit tight until we get our permanent one because we're not allowed to go to the um, uh, competition center until we get that uh, permanent one. So we can't go ski until we have our permanent accreditation. So we have like 12 hours to chill out. This is going to make Pat pretty happy. We can just chill for 12 hours um, and have not a lot to do. Or sleep. <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> this is a bad setup. Um, uh, so in any case, that is how that will all work. We need to talk a little bit about apparel. And this is um, going to be happening really soon here. So they're going to be mailing us our apparel by November the 5th, which means that it should arrive to us on the 10th. We're getting a few different things. We're going to get a coat, a hat, a scarf, a polo shirt, socks, um, a duffel bag, and various towels. So there's, <laughs> there's, I mean, too bad there's no Turkish baths this time, right? Um, so make sure that the address that you've put in to receive that is the address where you will receive it. So make sure that, yeah, exactly. Don't make sure that you didn't put in an address on that paperwork that was like your parents' home address and it's going to go to them and then you're not going to have uh, what you need. The good news is that the jacket is a lot nicer than the jacket that we had in um, in, in um, Erzurum, but it's um, not as hot, like it's not as warm of a jacket. Um, so just to bear in mind that you may also want to have your Swix down jacket just in case it's cold, though the temperatures are not predicted to be particularly cold uh, in Italy, so that should be kind of nice. It won't be super, super freezing the way that it was the day of the relay the last time we were there. Um, once you get your apparel, you really need to make sure that you have exchanged it by November 18th if you have something that wasn't right. So don't send it back any later than November 18th because you won't have it. And you do have to bring it to Italy. So your gear does need to be brought to Italy. Don't forget it here and think, oh, I'll just leave some of my socks or my towels. Don't do it. You take your gear to Italy. Okay. That being said... A few uh, sort of things for fun, the CBS Sports will be covering it, uh, the International Broadcasting Unit uh, there in um, Trentino will be covering, I guess, the skiing there. So there will be media interviews both on and off camera, um, and last year I know, or last time I know that Team USA definitely got on there because they were the most stoked of all of the teams, um, and so we definitely got some coverage um, both online and on TV, we got some pretty rad interviews on TV when uh, Gwen and Marie were trying to learn Turkish, and that was pretty sweet. So for your parents, um, get your parents set up with these two informational sites. There's a wugusa.com, the Facebook, and the Twitter feed will be good ways for your parents to find out what's going on while we're there. Um, this is another site that will be um, updated as well. So communication um, with the U.S. team while we're there is going to be a very interesting challenge because as it turns out, Team USA is not going to be staying. There is no, like last time there was an athlete village. That None of that is ha happening. There is no athlete village. We're all staying in randomly scattered hotels. So we will all be in a different hotel. So that means that... Um, our ski team will have basically its own hotel very near to our ski venue and we won't be near <laughs> some of the other hotels so um, just FYI on that that maybe that will be very different than it was before. 
we will have a, a attache at our ho hotel, so we will have somebody there that uh, helps us out and answers questions for us. There's a couple of important things that we need to address as far as medical. In fact, I would say that this is the most important thing. So in terms of medical stuff, if you take any prescription drugs at all, you have to have a two form for them. Um, that's a, a therapeutic use exemption. So if you're on a, any drug on a regular be basis, then you need to let us know. We need to go to this form and uh, we need to fill th the medical forms out. So first off, if you want to know whether you need to claim um, any kind of medication, this website, usantidoping.org slash two, um, or TUE, this is where you're going to go to find out if any of the drugs that you're taking are on the banned substances list with, and whether you need an exemption request. Uh, we also all need to fill out the medical form that should now be up on that same site that the other forms were at. So please fill out the medical form and, and get that sent in as soon as is possible. There will be team doctors around. Um, Willie particularly likes the team doctors, and so <laughs> um, we'll let him speak to uh, the quality medication and the good-looking nurses that may be around in case you happen to drink the water in some other country uh, besides Italy, because the water in Italy should be good. We should be able to drink out of the tap and whatnot. Okay, that is that. Um, in terms of, you know, if you're happy to take antibiotics or something like that, that's not what this is about. So if you're just on antibiotics, just make sure you bring your prescription um, bottle. Like it just needs to be in the prescription bottle. But be aware that they will be doing random blood and urine tests throughout. Uh, it's very possible that you could get selected for a random blood or urine screen. Don't be, um, don't be surprised if you do. <laughs> so... Um, I think that covers that very important part of it, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about where we're going. Trentino, it's a pretty awesome place. It has a population of about 530,000 people, um, but in that fairly relatively small population, they have 1,552 hotels. Um, so this is good news for your parents. Should they decide to come or anyone else who's visiting you, they should all be able to find plenty of accommodations, places to stay. Uh, of course, we're taking up some of those hotels, but nowhere near to 1,552 of them. Um, Trentino gets about 5 million tourists every year, and you can see why with 236 ski lifts and 480 kilometers of cross-country ski trails. Absolutely awesome, with very clement weather, um, and so we will certainly be seeing nice temperatures. Noting again about our hotel, we will have our own attache. Um, we will also um, be uh, staying, as I said, in basically our own hotel. And by November 18th, we should know exactly what hotel we've been assigned to, but we will be very near to our venue. Um, so we have free Wi-Fi, though it's not guaranteed to be in your room. You might have to walk to a common room to get the Wi-Fi. There will also be Wi-Fi at all of the venues, so you should be able to um, click in and take exams or what have you while you're at the ski race if you need to. Um, and, and once again, we can um, proctor exams while we're there. You may have to pay to wash your clothes, so just bear in mind that that may be something you need to have a little bit of extra money for. Um, and when we check in, we will be signing a damage waiver sheet. So what that means is that when we check into the hotel, if we notice that there's something that's damaged in the hotel, we need to make sure to report that to um, our um, good friends at BTI beforehand so that we don't end up getting charged for it. That's an important thing. Um, so Cross Country has waxing tents at the venue. That is to say we will have our own dedicated wax rooms um, right on site, which is just so cushy. It's like heaven, um, better than the whole rest of the year. Um, so our, our venue, again, is very near to the hotel. Transportation will be provided every single day between the um, venue and our hotel. 
and uh, we will have accreditation badges that uh, obviously we'll have those, but those will provide us with free transportation on an extensive public transportation system. We're not talking lame American public transportation. We're talking good Italian transportation. So we should be able to really get around. <laughs> um, take that as you will. Um, so we're going to get, we're going to have our own cell phones that will allow us to um, communicate with the rest of Team USA. And those should be getting mailed to us by December fourth and um, Tessero is where we will be skiing so that is the location of the or that is the where the the name of our venue is so for your parents um, they can get tickets to anything actually they can go uh, anywhere and they can choose from many many hotels so it's a sweet uh, venue to visit I would say that if your parents have ever thought about traveling to see you ski this is the time to do it <laughs> We will get fed by our hotels. So in fact, our hotels will be um, accommodating our schedule. So while they give these times for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they will work around our race schedule. So we need to make sure that when we check in, we actually communicate with them what our race schedule is, and then they will make sure that we eat when we need to eat. And that's pretty cool. And they'll also provide box lunches, um, if you request them and they would like for us to request them the day before. So for certain of the race days, it will be very uh, helpful to just request a box lunch that we can eat on the way home or what have you. But with our venue so close, we might not even need that. We might be able to just go back to the hotel, chill out and just eat lunch at the hotel, which would be really, really sweet. Um, so yeah, about that. Um, and then at every one of the venues, there's a refreshment center. So you can buy things like water, tea, coffee and fruit juices there. I think that is it for the accommodations, but I should let you also know that the euro is the currency that we will be using while there, and I don't think it's a bad idea to get a few euro before we get there. We will probably hit an ATM when we get in the hotel, I mean, uh, sorry, the airport, so that we can get a little bit more euro, but that's how that will work out as far as currency exchange goes. Okay. And Chrissy's got to chime in here for a minute, so. Okay, so my brother-in-law, Tobias, Holly's husband, actually lived in in uh, Italy for several years. Um, and he had, what he was saying is that we want to actually take, you want to try to get a debit card so that you can just get cash from, and, and so that you can get euros with your debit card and then pay things with cash. Because he says that they don't, there's a lot of places that don't take credit cards in Italy. So you'll want to make sure that you have a debit card or some way of getting cash out. So you just go and get your debit card, tell them, you know, put it in and use it. So that's. Yeah. So do it. Yeah. Do it. Don't delay. Don't delay. Okay, good. So I think that that's most of what you guys need to know. No, you need to know about the opening ceremonies as well. So they'll be on December the 11th um, in the town square of Trento, and they'll last for about two hours. This is good news because it means we won't be standing out there for like five or seven hours or whatever it was in Erzurum. Now, as awesome as those were, that was just a really long uh, opening ceremony. Um, from what I hear from Pat, it sounds like maybe the Pope will be lighting the torch. So that sounds like that's pretty rocking. Uh, the closing ceremonies will be on December the 21st, and that'll uh, be right after the men's gold medal hockey game. And I'm thinking we should get tickets to the men's hockey game and, and be there for that as well. So uh, hopefully um, we can get those tickets. We'll let them know right away that we want them, and, and maybe we'll be able to get them. So... Um, our uh, upon arriving, we have to go through an orientation, and that is brief. It was very brief last time, um, and I think that should probably be um, either at the accreditation center or they'll arrange it at our hotel, so easy peasy. So I think that is all that I need to tell you, except for to make sure that you take care. So re reviewing, make sure that that other paperwork is done if it's not already done. Make sure that you get in and get the medical waiver done um, and that you check out if you have any prescription drugs that you need to, to get a, a, an exception request for. Um, we need to make sure that once we get our, our, um, our gear, all of our gear, that we, that we exchange it right away if we need to exchange it. Um, and otherwise, I think that's uh, just about everything. You also need to make sure that all of their stuff is updated on the web page. Uh, by like as soon as possible. We definitely need it by December 5th because they're sending it out. That, they actually said December 1st, so that's Friday, guys. So get on that website if you have any trouble with anything. 
let me know and we'll I'll help you get it done. But get on that website and November first. Yeah. November first. Get on the website, get everything filled out. I'll be checking on it later in the week to make sure we have everything. Yep. So have a marvelous evening.